This is the Bulldog RC. And I'm going to talk about adding a battery backup and an auto shut off at power loss today. But I'm just going to give you an overview of what the, how the product works. So it's designed to mount over an existing valve up to uh, one and a half inch, which means no plumbing is required. You don't have to cut the pipes. And the basic idea is you want to be able to shut off the water uh, with some smart actions, either through your phone or if there's a, uh, if there's a leak on one of the leak sensors. And the relay contact version is designed to work with a relay. So there's an input on this side here and you'd run a wire from here to a relay of some sort, maybe in a proprietary alarm system or other automation system. You know, in systems where you don't have a smart home, uh, an open uh, smart home with Z-Wave or Zigbee or, or Wi-Fi, you can just add a relay to turn this unit, uh, the water, off and on. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So I've just wired this switch and it has a simple uh, 2.5 millimeter audio connector in the end and that plugs into the side of the unit and then you can use this switch to open and close the valve. I'm just going to let it go all the way so you can see how much time it takes. All right, and we can flip the switch the other way. And the JW part means it also works with our uh, leak sensors. So I've already prepared these leak sensors. If there's a leak uh, in the kitchen or the laundry room, wherever you put these uh, puck style leak sensors, on the second beep, it's going to put it in alarm mode and shut off the water. So you can choose to use the relay contact version with or without these uh, leak sensors. And you can put up to 20 of these connected to one system. Um, after a uh, leak alert, you have to reset the alarm and it'll open back up. But I'm going to show you right now how, how to add a, uh, a battery backup. It's very simple. So, so we've tested and uh, recommend this 3000 milliamp talent cell or the 6000 milliamp talent cell. The 3000 is probably good for. 20 plus hours and a 6,000 is good for, you know, 48 plus hours of backup. Something you should note that it, the uh, battery backup comes with its own uh, AC adapter and it has a little bit higher voltage than 12 volts just to properly charge these units. So when you do add the battery backup, you need to make sure you use the AC adapter that uh, comes with it. So let's just add that right now. So the battery back comes up with a splitter. So I'm going to remove the original AC adapter. And we're going to use that again in a minute for this other, you know, hook up the relay for auto off on power loss. But for now, let's plug the battery back up in and put it in parallel with the battery. And then plug this into the unit itself. All right, so now it's on the battery backup. You can see the AC adapters on. You should be able to see a little green light on here. So let's add the switch. All right, so you can open and close the unit with the switch. Well, let's just unplug it so you can believe me. So there's no power to the unit, but it's running off of the battery. And you can still open and close it. But now let me add the, um, the relay that I've set up to shut off the power, shut off the valve on power loss. We've had a number of customers ask us, and I don't know the exact reasons, but there are some good reasons to uh, shut off your valve when you lose power. All right, so let's add this relay. I've plugged in, I've used the AC adapter that comes with the, the Bulldog to give it this, this 12 volt relay, it's 12 volt power. So basically when it has power, the relay is going to be on and some contacts are going to be open or closed. And I selected the normally um, open contacts. 
And if we plug this in with the power already on, nothing should change. All right, so that's good. Now, okay, so everything's powered up. The power goes off. You lose power. Shuts off the water. Power comes back on. Turns the water back on. And I just wanted to show you one other thing here. So the Bulldog series can be configured in three or four different modes. And I've set this one in the RC mode which means it works with the relay contact mode. There's just a blue jumper in here that you move around to different pins. And that's it.